Hello, Scorpio. This is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Scorpios, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Maybe picking up energy from the last reading, or we may have a totally different energy coming in. So this is for Scorpio, starting mid-November 2018, Scorpio. Starting November, mid-November 2018, Scorpio. A five card spread and I got my clarifying cards. I do pre-shuffle these also and meditate on your sign. Let's see what the incoming energy is. Oops. What do we got here? Someone's worried. Scorpio had a lot of good things coming around them lately, but they're still worried about something. This is a five of cups worried about things that have spilt over and it didn't work out and they don't see the blessings that they've got behind them or around them they just see the negative in the past we're dealing with being chained to a certain situation that could be just about any be anything it could be obsession could be an addiction it's literally just being chained by something something that's hard to let go for some reason I'm going to sit there and clarify these, but I want to do it each and every one. But in the past, like I said, we had the devil. It's in the upright. It's someone feeling chained and obsessed in a certain situation. You leave it in the comments what you want, what is in your head, what's worrying you too much. could have a lot to do that you're obsessed by, and it's causing you to worry too much. It's, in some cases, this can make you sick in the past. But the devil, why are you there for Scorpio in the upright? has to do with a contract of some sort or marriage or a marriage partner possibly or something that was considered normal in your everyday society something that is etched in stone like I said it could be a marriage or a contract we have to do a job house but it shows you obsessed so a lot of you this could have to do with a relationship of some sort <clears throat> Can I get another card for the double card and the Hierophant in the upright? Shows the Knight of Cups offering something. It's a possibility that some of you may want to offer a relationship of some sort. Like I said, it could be a marriage proposal for some of you or offering to keep things going. An offer of friendship, an offer of truce of some way. This also could be like your energy with the Knight of Cups, but they're in the upright. Could be also that someone feels this way about you. That they want this offering, they want this peace with you, they want this friendship, they want this friendship of love. It's in the upright. Like I said, this could be you, could be another Scorpio, could be a Pisces or Cancer or just someone taking on that energy. Now your obstacle is really putting yourself out there. Maybe you're not able to for some reason. Maybe you're not able to have your truth said. But I need to know more. Ace of Swords, why are you there for Scorpio? This is for mid-November, remember, and on, because the energy is always changing. Ace of Swords, in the upright, why are you there for Scorpio as, a, as an obstacle? Because you're afraid of a failed situation because that's a seven of Pentacles It's being is thinking about things that didn't work out and how you're going to move forward but I think you're you don't know how you're going to move forward for some of you or that the timing may be off for some of you because that's the seven of Pentacles with the ace of swords the ace of swords is putting yourself out there and the seven of Pentacles is almost like a failed situation then we have another card for the Ace of Swords and the and the Seven of Pentacles, both in the upright. So far, I'm getting a lot of upright cards. Yeah, you're searching. This is the why here. This is the main energy, and this is the why it's happening. Can't get your truth out because possibly a failed situation happened that you thought was going to bring you a happily ever after. You feel like there's not no ha happily ever after. Current environment, 
You're not taking control now. In the last reading, you had a lot of good things coming, but some of you may be not taking control, not taking advantage of the good energies from last or the earlier this month. If you know, I'll put it in the end screen of the last reading for, for beginning of November. But some of you, some of you may not have taken advantage of this. You got the two of wands. It's in reverse. It's not making a choice, not making a decision, not making a decision, and not taking domination and control of a certain situation. Not making a choice, also. But we'll see. <clears throat> two of wands. Why are you there for Scorpio as a present condition? Not take control. There you are. It's in the upright. Prince of Cups is in the upright. This could be a Scorpio. Could be a Cancer Pisces or another Scorpio. It's like someone's not taking control. Someone has the ability to take control, but they're just kind of not doing it for some reason. It could be because you're too much caught up in, in the past. Can I get another card for Scorpio for the present situation? You're not putting out the you're not putting the effort, the fire you want. You, you got the Ace of Wands, and the reason why you're not able to take control of domination because you're not putting forth the effort. Like I said, with the Ace of Wands, the passionate new beginning, you have the ability to do so, but you need to break out that devil situation that's going on in your head. Like I said, it could have to do with relationships or contracts. And things not offered or we are wanting to offer them. But at the same time, it's like you're you're not really going for it. It's like you're waiting. Maybe you're waiting for the right time. Maybe you're still thinking on it. Outside environment, what is causing some of this? What is coming towards you? Nine of Swords. Now, I need another card to find out for sure what this is about. It's in reverse. Like I said, it's an outside environment. Someone want to come out of anxiety with you, possibly, or someone stuck in anxiety, in an anxiety-type situation. Can I get another card for the Nine of Swords in reverse for Scorpio? Mm. People aren't saying what they want to say. It's like everybody's holding back. This outside environment, maybe someone's not saying anything to you. Maybe someone it could be sick. It could be emotionally sick, too, for some of you. They're just not happy. There's unhappiness, anxiety around you, and maybe you feel that someone on the outside is not telling the truth, and maybe they're not. Or someone, like I said, if this is a different energy, like a cross-watcher, they could be feeling this way. But... I see a lot of anxiety in the outside. I see someone not able to speak their truth and put themselves out there. And it's very making someone very unhappy. But I'm calling this the outside environment, what's occurring. And also, in the past, someone is very stuck, like I said. And not taking control. Now the final outcome is a new beginning. It's a good card. Always like this card. But the only warning with this is you may jump into something without thinking. In the end, you will jump into something new, though. The full card in the upright, why are you there for Scorpio? It's a good card as far as I'm concerned because it's movement. Where before you're not moving, you're stuck in your head mostly. But the current environment, you got to understand, you got to put forth that energy. But the full card... Why you there is the outcome for Scorpio. Because there was a tower moment. Something came crashing down and you're deciding you're going to make a new beginning. So I know for some of you, in past readings, you ended something. And it looks like it did happen with the tower. You found out something and you want to start something new now. You're just going to jump into something else. Can I get another card for the Fool card and the Tower, which is the reason why you're taking a new beginning. And you want to celebrate and have fun. You want to, you want to get out there and just enjoy yourself. 
this tower moment really did something to you. I don't know what it is. You can leave it in the comments. I mean, don't go into full details because you don't want people knowing your business. But it's telling me right here that you had some decisions or something you want, like I said, wanted to say something, a truth, and it was a failed situation. You wanted to say something or put yourself out there, the obstacle, and it didn't occur. Or you're having trouble doing it, but you're wanting a happily ever after still. That's your desire. Still, you haven't made a sound decision as a, at, at this moment, even though you're supposed to. In the outside environment, like I said, there's some anxiety. And someone else may not be able to say their truth. Or maybe something is blocked somehow. Because of anxiety situations, someone may be very depressed on the, as the outside environment also because you got the sun card in reverse. And you yourself, at the very end, will take on something new because a tower moment did occur. And you can feel it in here. I don't know what it is. But you want to celebrate. And you may be getting some messages or sending messages. Because this is the Eight of Wands of fast-moving messages going back and forth. Sometimes it's travel also. So this could be for some of you traveling, some of you sending messages, getting messages. But a new beginning is going to occur because of a tower moment. I'm feeling like this was going on for a while, whatever happened in the past. You need to embrace that energy that's coming in in the last reading. And it looks like you may because you're jumping into something new. And there's celebration to be had. But the reason is because you want celebration and you're probably going to do it. And because of a tower situation, something else ended. So now you're beginning something new. And communications are open now for you, Scorpio. So this is your reading. I'll talk to you later. Probably before December if everything works out with me and my health. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.